Hello everyone, welcome back to the Demo Creator channel. My name is Jens and I'm going to be your host today. But before we dive into the main video, don't forget to subscribe to the Demo Creator channel as well as to activate the notification bell. That way you can stay up to date in regards to Demo Creator and all the features that are going to come as well as future updates. Many people out there want to live the dream. They want to become popular YouTubers. They want to make it far on YouTube. But there's one thing that you need to take into consideration. When doing YouTube, you also need to create videos. And this is where Wondershare's Demo Creator comes in. It's the perfect tool for everyone who's just going to start out with YouTube. Imagine you want to create yourself a tutorial channel, film Premiere Pro tutorials from your Macintosh or your Windows operating system. You need something to record the screen, but also you need to edit the videos afterwards. And Demo Creator can do both, and even more than that. If you are not yet familiar with Wondershare's Demo Creator, that's not a problem at all. I'm going to guide you through everything step by step. But before you can actually get started, make sure to download the software to actually follow along. So make sure to check out the link at the top of the description with it. You can download the free trial for Wondershare's Demo Creator and then we can get started with the main tutorial. So let's pick up where we left off with the scenario where you want to create Premiere Pro tutorials on a YouTube channel. So to get started you actually need a real video idea. You can just get on your PC and start talking something. You need an idea in the back of your head that you want to turn into a whole video. Meaning at first you need a theme for the whole video. Then, if you want to become well more prepared, you want to script out everything. This is also something that you really need to take into consideration. And other than that, you also need to think about, for example, your background and everything. Your lighting, if you want to film with a face cam. Those are all factors that you need to prepare for before you can even get started with filming, recording and editing the final video. But lucky for us, we already have something in mind. Remember a Premiere Pro tutorial? For our case right here. So now we are going to jump into Demo Creator and we are going to see how to record a video and how to edit it afterwards, shall we? Now once again you have to download Wondershare's Demo Creator to follow along. Now that you have downloaded it you can open it up and you are going to notice that you are going to be dragged right into the recording interface. It's going to be a small window down here that we can set up a tiny little bit to actually fit our purposes. To make it fit for our purposes we are going to click on the little gear icon and then a new window is going to pop up. Here you can set a few things up. You can say, okay, I, I want to record the full screen. I want to just record a part of the screen, for example, or maybe I even want to record a game. I don't care about Premiere Pro anymore. I now want to record Minecraft. It really doesn't matter. We are going to do a screen recording just for the sake of verification here. Also, next to the screen and the frame rate that you can also set up, you can say, okay, I want to change some audio settings. I want to record my voice for the video. It's a tutorial channel so it would be good to record my own voice. There you can capture your computer audio or you don't want to, it really is up to you. Or you can say okay I, I'm going to record my microphone. For example you are going to take an external microphone and you are going to record it. Next to that you can also record your camera. So you can set up a camera. Okay, I'm going to set this one up for example, then it's going to capture your face too if you want to have a face cam in your tutorial. And there are also a few advanced settings like where do you want to save your files, etc. You can go through all the settings and once everything's set up, you can click on capture and you're going to be tracked back to the capturing window. Now recording a video is as easy as it possibly can get and Demo Creator makes it really easy for you by placing that big red button there that is just screaming record, record something for me please. Okay, you are going to click on the big red button and it's going to count down from three. And once it hits zero, you can start recording your tutorial. You can now start talking if you set up your microphone, you can do something in the background, etc. You can also hide this overlay right here such that you don't have it on screen. To hide the overlay, you are just going to click the minimize button right here. And once you are done recording, you are going to press F10 and then it's going to track you right into the editing window. And when it comes to actually editing the video, we have talked extensively about that on the channel already. You can add music afterwards, you can um, place pictures 
in your video you can add transitions to everything you can cut out green screens etc and the first step to do so is to tra just drag your video and audio layers down and here you can already see that our recording worked you can get it started and then you can start editing cutting whatever you want to do with your recorded file just as a little sample you want to create a transition to open up your video. You are going to get to the captions scene and you are just going to drag a title screen down. And then you are going to notice that for example you are going to have an animated title right here that you can edit to your heart's content. Right here on the right you can just click on it and it's going to work just fine. You can cut the video by actually clicking the cut button right here. Click on your film layer and click the split button. Split it up another time and if you want to delete part of your recording, delete it. You can do the same thing with the audio. You click on the audio layer and then you can actually go to the audio settings here and adjust the volume and you can activate the noise. All this crazy stuff that Wondershed Demo Creator does a really good job at. Now that we are done recording, I also added a little emoji right here that you can drag around and you can um, put some funny pictures in there too. It's a lot of fun playing around with all this stuff. You want to export your file. You want to actually upload it somewhere. I mean, we don't just want to record, we also want to export it into a MOV file or an MP4 or the like. For this, you are simply going to click up here on the big export button. Now there are two main methods to proceed from this point onwards. Either you can save the video on your PC at first. This is helpful in many cases because you would like to check the video before publishing it to YouTube. Am I right? So for this you are going to click on local. This is the standard position that your window is going to track in. And then you can choose the file format of your choice, MOV, AVI, MP4, etc. You can give your project a name, where you want to export it, all this crazy stuff. You can go through all the options here one after another, try around what fits your purposes and your needs best. And then you can export everything by clicking onto the export button. If you're only using the free trial of Wondershare Demo Creator, then you are going to get a watermark. So make sure to get yourself a license such that you can use it to its full extent. But there's also another method, namely exporting everything to YouTube, meaning exporting and sharing at the same time. That's a very useful feature. For this you click on YouTube and all you really have to do is to sign into YouTube at first. No worries, your data is going to be dealt in privacy. No one's going to receive your data ever. Everything's going over Google, so everything's safe. After you sign into YouTube, you can adjust the quality, etc., just like you could before with the regular saving on your PC. But you can also give everything a project title. Okay, this is the title that is going to appear on YouTube, a detailed description, and also text. And once you are done with that, you can click onto the export button, and then you are once again done. And this is basically everything. I hope this video was helpful and to your liking. If it was, make sure to subscribe to the Wondershare Demo Creator channel. You can support us big time that way and like mentioned before, you, you are going to stay updated. Okay, All the updates, all the new features coming to Wondershare Demo Creator all in one place here on our channel. So make sure to subscribe to the channel as well as to activate the notification bell. This has been the end from the Wondershare Demo Creator channel and I bid you farewell. See you in the next video. Ciao!